A government that uses chemical weapons against its own people has to be made to pay a price. As the evidence accumulates that this chemical weapons attack did take place and came, play, came, came from the Assad forces, of course we're moving to a stage where uh, America and like-minded countries are contemplating what sort of a response. Our preference, everyone's preference, would be for action a response under United Nations auspices. But if that's not possible, the sheer horror of a government using chemical weapons against its people, using chemical weapons in any circumstances, mandates a response. The, mo the most important role for us on the Security Council in the context of Syria is to engage with Russia and China. Russia and China uh, can't be vilified in this. They need to be engaged with encouraged to look at the evidence and encouraged to think about their attitudes towards the Assad regime and what the world does when a population is being devastated and now devastated with the application of weapons that terrifyingly enable mass atrocity crimes. Well, there have been enormous difficulties. I've canvassed them in the past. The, the international legal basis for action, uh, of course, is endorsement by the Security Council. Uh, that hasn't been forthcoming because the crisis in Syria has exposed a flaw in international governance that there's no easy way to resolve. And that is that you need a vote of the Security Council, and the Security Council is built on a consensus with any one of the five permanent members being able to, to veto a decision. Certainly, uh, certainly an attack on Syria is an act of war, and um, America, America would be weighing very, very carefully uh, uh, the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Dempsey, provided a letter to Congress in July that canvassed the risks and the costs of an American military response, whether it's a, a, a missile strike or increased assistance to the opposition forces in Syria, whether it's um, uh, an assault on the, an attempt to degrade the surface-to-air missile systems of the country, um, there are risks and there are expenses. And America, the White House and the, the Pentagon would be weighing those very, very carefully. I, I, I want to praise the Obama administration uh, for being careful about its response. I think that gives the world some assurance that when the response comes, it will have been thought through. Well, one of the reservations we've had about giving assistance to the opposition forces has been the, the presence on the ground of al-Nazra, al-Qaeda, and similar extremist groups, violent extremist groups. And it is, uh, their, their presence has become more apparent over recent months, and it has filled the world with reservations about providing lethal assistance to opposition elements.